Howdy y'all. Welcome to Yurtcation, where you'll never find a little cute mint on your pillow in the morning, but you'll find plenty of fresh air, beautiful stars in the sky, and a great view of the LaSalle Mountains. Come on inside and I'll show you around. Nice cozy couch where you can relax, take off your shoes, put your slippers on, and enjoy a nice fire next to the wood-burning stove right here. Over here we have the sink, and uh, eventually there will be running water, but for right now you gotta earn your water around here. So you fill up this five gallon water tank, and use this to clean your dishes. It's all plumbed to out the outside. Uh, you can also fill up a solar shower bag for your shower from here. Okay, right now I'm standing in the kitchen area. Never again will you be cooking ramen noodle on a tiny little MSR stove freezing around your tent. <laughs> this is where the magic happens right here. You'll be cooking five-star meals right here on this big double burner stove, all the pots and pans, utensils that you need. I'm in the library now. Uh, this is a take a book, leave a book. We have guidebooks of all different hiking areas backcountry skiing, rock climbing, all sorts of stuff. Those those books stay here. Got magazines. Look at this. Beth Rodden. What? <laughs> here at the yurt, we generate all our electricity from the sun. It's called solar panels. And here's the inverter. It's just a simple on and off switch. And turn the power on. Turn the power off. And right here, we've got music. You can hook up your iPod or your iPhone, play a little music. This also runs a fan and a few lights. This is the master bedroom right here. We've got a queen-size bed. And then this right here is a double-size futon. Sleeps two comfortably. It's actually extremely comfortable. The couch here sleeps one. And if you have six people in your group, whoever draws the shortest straw, gets that uncomfortable Welcome cop. Welcome to the outhouse. Just an easy 30 second walk from the yurt. Fully insulated. Got a shower, compost toilet. It is warm, cozy. You could even set up a bed in here and spend the night if you wanted. This is where you clean up after a hard day of rock climbing, hiking, checking out ruins, doing whatever you like to do when you're out here. Even if it's just relaxing at the yurt. Boil up a little bit of water, put it in here, or there's a hook on the outside of the outhouse to hang this during the hotter months. It'll heat up in three hours. I've got two five-gallon bags here, which uh, is about a 15-minute shower. Biodegradable soap, shampoo, all the good shit. Look at how amazing. This compost toilet doesn't smell at all. Look at how close my face is right now. It smells like roses. It's wonderful. It's better in a home at home toilet one of those fancy water toilets so compost toilet all the instructions you need air freshener hand sanitizer it's a wonderful experience you need to try it. 